What's up everybody, it's your boy and we're chasing sunsets with Stephen J. Um, coming to you from behind the Apopka Airport where they built all these daggone warehouses and stuff. Um, I was gonna go on a wildlife drive today and take my bike out, but two things. I got home 4.15 I think. Got home 4.15. Uh, went in the garage to get my bike. My tires flat. Um, asked my sons, where's the, uh, where is the, uh, air pump? I don't know. But like it was in the garage right over here. I don't know. I haven't seen it, but they blow up their basketballs when they go out and play basketball at the park. Okay. So I can't ride my bike. Then had to use the bathroom. By the time I came out of the bathroom, it was like 445. And so sunsets at 529, maybe 528 tonight. So, um, I'm like. By the time I get to the park, which it took me like 10 to 15 minutes just to get here. What time is sunset? Today, the sun will set at 5.29 p.m. So, <clears throat> oh, I'm hoping, see these birds, I'm hoping to get these birds in the silhouette, which is what I've been waiting for. Let me pause it real quick. So I just got these sandhill cranes right here. They just flew in. They've been coming here the last few evenings. So anyway, I was going to go on a wildlife drive because I wanted to try out my new ND filters. So I got a... Uh... Wait, I got an ND... Ugh, I got two of them. I got a, a soft GND8 filter. ND8 filter. And... From K and F Concepts, and I got a ND6 filter, also from K and F Concepts. Um, basically, I got the filters because, as you guys know, with the mirrorless lens, I hate shooting direct into the sunset, and me getting that red and crappy whatever it is off the sensor. And it sucks. Oh, they got more birds over here. So hopefully I might get the birds in a sun silhouette. They've been hanging out over there as of late. But who's this guy about to bother me? Um, but hopefully I can get a good shot. So I brought my filter. And as you guys can see, I got the ND filter on the lens. And I'm trying some long exposure shots. Basically what I'm going for, I'm trying to get the streaks of the clouds is what I'm hoping for. It looks like it's gonna be a great sunset, but I can't tell if underneath here, right there, if that's a wall cloud or the sun is gonna drop out. If the sun drops out, that's gonna be great for this. Um, I was hoping that this water right here will be a little bit calm that I can get some good shots, but I am hoping for some decent shots. So let me stop. The filter has been going for six minutes, I guess. It's 5.11, guys. That's crazy. I always see that number. If anybody knows what that means, let me know. But I've been seeing 5.11 everywhere for 10 years now? Yeah, 10 years. 
So let's take a look to see what we got. Oh my God, the exposure. Wait. I should have looked at that. It's in bulb mode. I'm shooting at F11. Let's see. ISO is at 200 because I can't get any lower than that with the lens that came with it. But let's see. I mean. See, that's the thing. So let's try. Oh, let's try. I'm going to shoot in manual real quick and do like a 30 seconds exposure to see if I can get it that way. So this one right here is set at F5. All right, we got it at F11. Let's take my seconds. Now, see, as you see, it's going up. But this lens right here, see the wind is blowing the sucker around. It's really blowing it around. Matter of fact, I'm going to try, instead of the soft ND8 filter, I'm going to go with the darker one to see what I can get. See how that's blown out. Why that dude going to drive right into my sunset? Anyway, so I think he's going over there to, to run through those birds or whatever. But I've been coming back here that has no issues whatsoever. If I see those birds get into a nice tree, maybe that might be a decent shot. But let me put the other filter on to see what I get. I mean, that's why I'm glad I came here. I should have started off with that lens, but I wanted to see what the soft ND8 was going to give me. I mean, and it comes in this really nice neat package that you can put it in here like that let you see what it, what it looks like what it comes in so that's pretty cool i'm hoping these birds actually cross my path and i get a shot with them so we'll see but i'm talking to you and i'm not doing anything so let me pause it so i just put the nd6 filter on just did a long a 30 second no 15 second exposure shot i mean i think it came out all right but Wow, that actually, look at that. You guys can see we blocked the light. But, I mean, let's see. Oh, you see, you see that crap? Even with right here, you still see those red dots. Oh my God, that sucks. I'm telling you, if I have to go back to uh, DSLR, I will. I definitely will. But I mean, my F-stop is, I got it all the way to F29. ISO's at 200. So let's try three seconds, a little bit darker. I don't know why these birds are out, I mean mosquitoes are out bothering me. So let's take a look at this now, see what we got. So it looks like the sun is coming out of the clouds. Let's see if you guys can see that. I still got the same thing, so I'm kind of disappointed. <sighs> Freaking disappointed. That sucks. Now look at the birds right in front of the sun. That's hot. I wish they do like the northern birds do and make shapes and stuff like when they uh, fly, but they don't, these birds are fish crows. They don't do that like the birds that you see up north. They kind of do it, but not necessarily all that. So I'm disappointed with this. I'm really disappointed with this because I'm going to be going to New York. Um, in a couple weeks, why is this so wobbly? Oh my God, this is getting on my nerves. See if I can tighten this up. I mean, this stupid thing costs this tripod, this Ultra 7000M, cost me like 60 bucks. Look how wobbly it stinking is. I mean, I shouldn't have to tighten this up with a screwdriver to uh, get it like I want it. 
I mean, that's some bull crap right there. I mean, it's gotta be something on here. Let me pause it real quick. All right, guys, so sorry I got caught up, but this is the sky right now. It's a minute after sunset. I just put on a soft ND filter on here. So I'm gonna put it in bulb mode right now and see what I can what I can get come on let's see it's like what's weird is let's go back to manual real quick because at least with manual I can actually see what's going on on the screen whereas bulb mode for some reason It's not. Yeah, it's not giving me. So, F22 makes me want to go back to the. Um, I want to try to get these birds in my shop. So, let me go bulb mode. Let's try AV. AV. See the problem with AV, that's not gonna work. There's no timer on AV. So, let's check it. Give it like 30 seconds, but man, look at the sky, man. That's what's up. I'm gonna go over there, but I can't go too much because it's, it's soggy from the rain last week. So let's stop, 12 seconds. Yeah, it's overexposed. Darn you. Let's try it again. See what we got. And this stupid thing right here, the wind is just like kicking my butt. Let's try 10 seconds. Again, still, that sucks. Very disappointed. Turn it off. So let's try it again. I think I might have gotten it. But I want to go over here and see if I can get these birds. Look at that sky over there. And the birds didn't even fly over this way. Man, this is awesome. I'm afraid I hear people and I don't like leaving my equipment where I can't reach it. So let's stop this channel. It's still overexposed. I, I just don't get it. So this ain't working how I wanted it to work because I wanted to get like the, the streaks, man. So let's take off this filter. Let's go back. I figured the soft filter, come on. Come on. Why is it not? I figured the soft filter would be okay at for the afterglow, but apparently it's not. So let me pause it. So I went back to the ND8 filter, and that seems to be, I hear a bald eagle. So that seems to be the go to right there. So we're going to see what we get. While I take pictures with this, that's not a bald eagle. That's one of those black neck, neck stilts. Look at all that. That's just beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm shooting right here. Just a little bit of here, but mostly focused on the sky. And the wind is picked up, so my little calm water right here isn't. I'm gonna leave. Look at that shot right there. Ah, oh, you know what? I like right here the tracks, the tractor tracks right there. That's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, that was it. So, what I did was just enough here to catch that just enough just enough that's hot 
and I'm gonna go over here and see if I can catch some birds doing some in a cool silhouette before I lose my light. Those fish crows didn't do anything, so let me pause it till I get over there. I don't think they like me coming near them, but I don't care. I want to get the shot. Giving them their space, being respectful, all that. Look at the sky still lit up. But if I can get low enough to get them in a silhouette with that sky. Now this is where I wish I had boots. So I'm gonna pause it and see what I can get. Well, what time is it? It is 5.45. Uh, 15 minutes after sunset. I got the shots that I, I was hoping I would get. Okay. Not that shot, but that's, that's a decent shot. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sky. That's what I'm talking about. That's hot. That's hot. 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 And nobody stole my camera. The sky is still kind of lit a little bit. What I did was, they're saying hill cranes are eating, so there's a YouTube page, it's called Music to My Ears. It's sand hill crane sounds, and as soon as I played it, they all lifted up their heads. Oh, well, let's see. It looks like it's overexposed still. Stupid. Let's try, while I'm still here, come on. See, now I got, I can get a 30 seconds exposure at, <clears throat> at F13, as it's darker, but, but look, this is like so peaceful right here. This is like so peaceful. It's so peaceful. So we're going to see what we get with this 30 seconds. Look at that window of the sky. That's what I consider art. I consider that art. So, here's the shot. 30 seconds exposure. It's okay, but it's not really what I was going for. Not what I was really going for, but on the flip side, I mean, let me back up so I can get both bodies of water in my shot. I think I can get it. So I'm gonna do another 30 second exposure and I'm done. And really at this time of night, I wouldn't lighten this up because this is a great silhouette shot right here, the way just the way it is. I mean, just to for argument's sake and just to play around, just to see what I can get with it, I would actually lighten it up a little bit just to see, and then I might like it. But did anybody buy it? That's why I always try to put myself in the buyer's shoes. See how that came out. It's not bad. Still disappointed with direct sunlight shots. So I gotta I don't know. I gotta check my settings cool thing about this is I can just put my cap over it about the ND filters I can put my cap over it the birds are coming back I can put the cap right over the filter and be good um, this coming Sunday I will be on the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive I'm gonna have I gotta find me another tripod because this thing is my first time using this I'm very disappointed in it, how wobbly it is. Again, this stupid thing is $700, so I'm probably gonna have to reach out to uh, Best Buy customer service and see if they'll let me do some type of exchange for another one around the same price, because I am very 
I'm disappointed in it. Very disappointed in it. So if I can just get something else. I only got it because it's a two in one that I can take this tripod and it becomes a monopod. But um, that's the reason why I bought it. But I don't this wobbly wobble wobbly wobbly and this sucks so I don't like it so we'll be reaching out to Best Buy to see if I can exchange it hopefully exchange it before I go to New York because I definitely need something that's going to be a little more sturdy there's my plan is when I get to New York is I'm going to go to Central Park um, I keep looking back because I want to see if there's anything I would still take a picture of but when I do Central Park um, not only Central Park, I want to do Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bridge again, but I found out where those pylons are. It's Pier 1, old Pier 1. I want to get that with a long exposure shot, so I definitely need to get this ND filter <coughs> working. I don't really see anything else that I would take a picture of. Let's see. So, I appreciate you guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the chase tomorrow. Peace.